11 sunrise. Run on Love had with another player last weekend. We're going to take you to the grocery store to let you know how your visit can be healthier, smarter, all sorts of good stuff. Right now, here's Sven with the bus stop forecast. She was a fan and announced that later on in the show. Interesting question. Yeah. If you load up your shopping carts with the same foods every time you visit the grocery store, or if you have no plan at all, maybe it's time to shake things up. This morning, we're sharing seven grocery store hot spots that'll help make you a smarter and healthier shopper the next time you head to the store. Susan Moore is nutritionist at Kowalski's Markets, joins us live from their uptown location to show some smart spots to park your cart and explore. Susan, thank you for getting up early. Always good to see you. Where do we begin this morning? Well, so many times people tell us to shop the perimeter of the store, and there are some great places in the middle of the store. So our first hot spot is actually in the freezer section. So what I've got here, if you haven't been in the freezer section for a long time, you need to get back in, because we're bringing in a whole lot of these wholesome foods. Manufacturers are coming out with much more wholesome ingredients, less additives, less preservatives. So we've got, actually one of my favorites are these new whole grains that are coming in. They're already cooked, and that's a barrier for a lot of people in making whole grains, is it takes too much time. These are done in two to three minutes. You're seeing some of those uh, meals, like the um, frozen meals, lots more ethnic options and meatless burgers have gotten a little bit bigger than beans now we've got some walnut burgers better vegetables and one of my favorites is coming in are these probiotic foods so we've got an ice cream with probiotics in it and also a drink a smoothie drink that you can make so again sort of this new influx of healthy foods great foods that are in your freezer section excuse me Susan, and what does the probiotics do for you they are actually good bacteria in our intestinal tract. We have lots of bacteria, and it's sort of a balance between the good and the bad. And the probiotics help put in some of those good ones that kind of fend off or push out the bad bacteria and help your immune system. Got it. Mm -hmm. I've the been reading section. articles as oh. well on the health effects of spices, and I know you have a bunch to show us. Can you go into some of the health effects if you do visit the spice rack? Yes, you've heard a lot about maybe garlic and heart disease, but there's a whole bunch of spices that are good for your health. And actually, we've sort of, or science has known about them for thousands of years, and we're just sort of starting to pick up on it. But cinnamon is a terrific one. I think I've got a cinnamon here, right here. Half a teaspoon a day is supposed to be great for blood sugar control. And then we've got fennel and ginger and turmeric. Those are terrific for anti-inflammation. There's other spices that are great for digestion, like cayenne pepper. Interestingly enough, you would think that would be an irritant, but it's good for digestion. And then some of them are great for immunity. So fennel seed kind of crosses all of those categories. So pick a spice, and there's definitely a health benefit to go with it. About 30 seconds left. You're talking about some of these things are, are almost ancient in, in their application, and that comes with the dry goods as well, doesn't it? It does. If you haven't been in the grain aisle for a while, that's a great place to park your cart, too. We're sort of stuck with white rice or have been in a rut with white rice. Maybe some of us have ventured out to brown rice. But there's some terrific ancient grains. I think people are understanding more about quinoa. That's come in. But then look at... If you're looking at rice, switch it out with something like a farro or um, some of these new ancient rices that are the black and the red. Those are terrific. Bulgur's great. Here's a whole wheat couscous. Those are done in like two minutes. Super easy to do. So as you get into that grain aisle, sort of look up and about and see what you can find. There's some really great kind of toothy, tasty grains to have. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. You bet. Thank you. All right, our next half hour of uh, Sunrise Ashley, including how you can get the most out of the salad bar your next trip to the grocery mm. store. And uh, she mentioned some things I see you m munching on from time to time. Quinoa, couscous, those are good. Yep. And they're easy, super easy to make. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Trust me. So, how you doing? I'm well, how Did are you? Anybody else move around on the road this morning with the wind? I did no? not experience that. No. But you guys don't go on the freeway. You take 55. Briefly. In it. So it's slow. You stop at all those...